Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, February 3rd, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because... Um, it's dated for the 3rd of February. It doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate on the 3rd. It can resonate for you whenever you're guided to watch this reading. Yes, also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't as everything is not going to resonate with everyone, not necessarily at least. I mean, the whole reading may resonate with you, but if it doesn't, don't be surprised because this is a general reading, yes? Um, so I'm sure you can hear, but they are well underway across the street. Um, so we're gonna have a background, we have some background noise of construction. Yay! <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, I got the February readings out those were released yesterday on Sunday. Um, I literally spent all day Saturday. It literally took me all day Saturday to get all that finished. I had four readings to, to finish and then I had to do the editing and the editing and uploading took a while because it was the first time I was really editing the way I wanted to on my new system. If you guys remember, I didn't get to do that in January because I ran into an unexpected issue, but I've since got that all figured out. And so Saturday was like the first day that I was editing for like real on my new system. And it literally took me all day. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad it came out really well, but, and I'm happy, you know, I have that under my belt. Now it's going to be easier for the next month, but man, let me tell you, last week was a fucking doozy y'all. So by the time I finished, by the time I finished editing, um, all of the Zodiac readings and stuff and like got them uploaded. I didn't do anything yesterday. Like I even planned to redo my nails. I still have this crusty ass <laughs> manicure going. I wanted to change the color on this finger here, but I just didn't do it. I completely forgot. I got wrapped into the chilling adventures of Sabrina and was like, this is my day. This, <laughs> this is my day. I love that show. I love that show. I'm having some issues with parts of it, but anyway, we don't have to discuss that here. We can talk about that later. Let's get into your pre-shuffle, shall we? So the card that popped out here is in fact the Four of Wands. Funny because the Four of Wands has been coming out for me personally lately. Um, but what I get with <clears throat> the Four of Wands here, I just... Uh, the, Spirit is saying there's a deep sense of security. There's a deep sense of knowing, of understanding. I feel like, uh, I'm gonna explain why, but what I feel here is collectively speaking, there's just this understanding or this feeling of security, even if there's not really anything or much happening in the physical, in like the 3D, internally spiritually foundationally you're feeling secure this could be within yourself it also could be in terms of like maybe a relationship with another person because the four of wands is like say a union card in terms of like maybe the twin flame journey but also it's a, a card of it could it's a could it's a card of celebration also it's a card that speaks to you know having a foundation a foundation having been laid or secured and now you know you get to celebrate that because from there you can start to build the rest of your structure it's also a card of that kind of says you know don't rest on your laurels because your work is not done but absolutely take the time to celebrate if you feel you know as though you must or if you feel that's necessary or appropriate or whatnot whatever um and what i'm getting with this is like there's a there's a sense of knowing a sense of groundedness a sense of understanding regardless of what your situation may be it may be a romantic situation i am feeling specifically that maybe like for certain twin flames out there you guys have this knowledge and this understanding between the two of you that things are good or things are better than they may have appeared to be or things are better now between the two of you than they have been before 
um, maybe even ever been in the past. And even though maybe you're not necessarily, maybe you're still kind of in separation, you're not necessarily really speaking to each other, not really necessarily associating with each other. You just have this deep sense of knowing that things are okay and things are going to be able to grow from here. If it's not that for you, it could be maybe you have settled into a new home environment. It could be that maybe your home environment with like your kids, your parents, your family, whatnot, whatever, maybe that was in an uproar for a while, but now things are good, things have settled down, maybe you've gotten down to the nitty gritty, you've 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 hashed it out, you've gotten through or at least gotten into the open what was necessary, what was needed to be conveyed, and now you guys have a solid stability or a grounding where you can now like build forward from here, okay? Your overall energy is judgment. And with the other side is the Ace of Swords. So not only was I feeling like this sense of, of wisdom, understanding, and knowing that things are okay with the Four of Wands, the Ace of Swords that's here on the other side of the deck really does confirm that feeling. Because regardless of what this is, the Ace of Wands, um, not the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords, is, it could have been... Um, an element of communication. It could have been where, you know, someone rose to the occasion, judgment here, and spoke their truth, let the, let the truth be known, you know, spoke, shared their knowledge. Um, it could be someone fessed up to something. I'm getting very, I'm getting a very specific message there. There was maybe a father figure or a patriarchal figure or someone that is of strong rep uh, 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 repute, is that the word I'm looking for? Is uh, well known or well respected or, you know, has a good amount of power or influence. I feel like some he, maybe this is an actual man or this is someone that's an, an individual that's more masculine in energy, but this person, I'll say he because I'm perceiving it as a masculine entity, whether it's a, a, a physical male or just energetically, but he came he came clean about something. He he fessed up to something. He was he spoke truthfully about something. He was honest about something. Um, he was honest with himself about something. He was honest with others about something. He was honest with he was honest with others about something as a direct result result of being honest with himself about something. That's the kind of energy that I just picked up on there. But if that happened, or if that's just symbolic and that's ringing a bell for you, there is an energy here of having a solidity, a grounding, a foundation here that it was much better than before. Someone either has really risen to the occasion or someone is rising to the occasion or um, a wake-up call is being accepted. There's knowledge, there's understanding. There is a willingness to go forward, I feel like. That's very good, you guys. That's very, very good. I'm very happy to see that to start your Monday off. So let's see what else we've got for you here. For your Monday, sorry, I just want to fix these a little bit. For your Monday, February 3rd, I, I, don't, I don't know, did I say it earlier? But welcome to February. January is officially over. You know, and it's funny, I don't think 2020 is really going to be all that easy of a year here. The Eight of Cups just wanted to, cut, to, wanted to fall out. Um, there's... There's definitely an energy of leaving some sort of past behind with that, for sure. Oh, there's the Four of Wands again. I don't really... I feel like 2020 is going to be a pretty challenging year for all of us. It's just going to be in different ways. I don't know. Whatever. But welcome to February. <laughs> Give this one last shuffle here. Alrighty, guys. So let's see what else we've got for your Monday. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, February 3rd, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, they're saying five shuffles. Oh, hello, camera that doesn't want to 
focus. We're gonna give this five shuffles, guys. Come on, you. What are you doing? Can you, can you like, hold on, hold on, kids. Can you like get it together, please? I'm really, I'm really tired of your tomfoolery. Thank you. That is much better. I appreciate it. <laughs> Here we go. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four. And last one. All righty, kids. Let's see what we've got for your Monday, February 3rd, 2020. Monday, February 3rd, 2020. What do we have for you here? Okay, okay. Well, bear with me. Bear with me. Monday, February 3rd for the collective. There's a little bit. Monday, February 3rd, 2020. Ooh, okay, we're going to go to a one more. Monday, ooh, okay, February 3rd. And this is the last one. All right, well, there you go. There you have it, kids. Monday, February 3rd, 20. Oh, jeez, okay. Okay, here we go. Overall energy is the chariot with the Ten of Pentacles on the other side. Okay, so a lesson has com been completed um, and someone is moving forward for sure. We have the Hanged Man, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Devil, but we have a good side of the Devil. We have the Seven of Wands, we have the Six of Wands, and we have the Moon in Reverse. So first and foremost, what I'm going to say here is the Moon in Reverse is confirming the Ace of Swords that came out in the beginning of the in the pre-shuffle okay so with the moon in reverse there is a release of illusions there is a release of lies there is a release of some sort of deception i'm also hearing a discrepancy okay um <clears throat> This is a really good energy, you guys. So what's going on here for someone or for you, I guess, if this is what if this is resonating for you, what's going on for you is it's as if you've taken the advice here um, or it's ta it's like you're ta you've taken what you've learned in terms of the hanged man. Now, on this side of the hanged man, you do have the two individuals that were previously in the um, in the middle of being indoctrinated by the Hierophant, right? The Hierophant was bringing these two gentlemen into his fold, teaching him his thing, his his ways and whatnot, whatever. That could that could represent an element of brainwashing and mind control and conformity and whatnot. By the time these in two individuals continue on down the path and they get to the Hanged Man, they reach a, 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 a checkpoint of enlightenment, is what I'll call it, in which they start to realize that there are other ways to see things, there are other ways to do things, there are other ways to approach life than just what the indoctrination of the Hierophant energies has to teach you. Um, and so that's where someone starts to expand their mind, starts to become somewhat of a free thinker here. And it's as if with this Eight of Wands energy, it's as if there's some someone is, because this Eight of Wands came out last week, I believe, and this, ki this side of the card is kind of a little bit of a warning. I like to kind of see this as a minor arcana version of, say, a tower moment or like a pre-tower moment or like a, a warning that a tower moment could be coming. Um, because with this side of the card, it's like, you know, there's guidance coming through here for you and you know, either you can heed the gods or the universe or they're going to do it for you. But I get the feeling that someone is kind of taking taking the situation into their own hands, especially with this nine of cups energy, because satisfaction is coming through here. So I'm just getting the I'm just getting the energy that someone is taking heed. Someone is following the guidance. Someone is moving forward or this is you or you're moving forward. Um, uh, it, 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 you might be moving forward slowly, but also that's not necessarily what i'm feeling here too because i'm it that feels that feels more like a little bit of apprehension a little bit of fear ish and i don't even want to call it that it's just a little bit like okay well i'm gonna do this but you're still kind of like Ooh, i don't know you know it, not that you don't know if you want to do it or not it's just like you're you're hesitant because you don't necessarily know what's coming 
You don't necessarily know how things are going to happen, how things are going to work. And maybe if you haven't, okay, so I'm oh, oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to channel all this at once because a lot is coming through but so you have this chariot energy which is talking about movement forward and I do see that coming for you you may not necessarily have completely started moving just yet okay um, and for some of you you have but for others of you you're you're gearing up all right um, this is a good thing though this is a good thing don't worry you may still be in an energy with this ten of pentacles on the other side you may still be in an energy of just wrapping a few things up but now let's get to the second row here you have the devil but his back is turned with the seven of wands and the six of wands all right so when the devil's back is turned like this in this deck this kind of speaks to having a way out having uh, having a way of getting away from the devil because the devil is technically is not paying attention you may have done some things done certain things said certain things acted in certain ways set certain things into motion that has made the devil recognize the fact that he has no control over you any longer or something like that either way you have created what i'm feeling here is you've created a circumstance in which the devil no longer finds any interest in you and has now turned away leaving you free to get away from there you have set certain boundaries here with the seven of wands and that right there is a victory so here's the other thing that i want to say you may not necessarily be moving just yet or at least maybe not moving at the speed that you want or maybe not necessarily going after exactly what it is that you want right now you plan on it it's it's on the horizon all of this that's going on here is has set you up to start moving in that direction but right now i almost want to tell you to revel in this energy here with the devil having its back turned the seven of wands and the six of wands because there is a major major feat that has come above that has come about in terms of removing yourself from the devil getting away from the illusion with the moon in reverse um, and i love the fact that it's this side of the moon that has the high priestess here where she's offering you <clears throat> she she's either offering you salvation or she, from the matrix or she's just offering you more of that kool-aid and it seems that someone has woken up and has left this part of the journey behind them and is moving on to bigger and better things, is moving on to greener pastures. Ten of Pentacles, lesson learned, cycle complete, okay? And I do feel like there's an energy of, for some of you, there's an energy of moving forward towards some sort of new family situation, potentially. Okay. Cool. Cool, guys. All right. So, now... Let's start clarifying a little bit here. So they're moving building material around and it's slightly distracting. <laughs> okay. So let's look at let's look at the hanged man, the 8 of wands and the 9 of cups. I really feel like with this 8 of wands energy here, there is a really strong desire to reach out and communicate somehow. You, you may be in an energy of trying to figure out how you're going to do that, what you want to say, if it's even okay to communicate. But with the Nine of Cups here, I feel there's a deep sense of satisfaction. And also, you know, this, this Eight of Wands energy, or I'm sorry, the lightning in this Eight of Wands energy, I'm going to be honest, it does kind of feel like a little bit of a tower moment here. But it's more of inspiration, I feel like, for you. Instead of like a, a tower moment where a lot is something something major is really being destroyed, I feel like this is a lot of inspiration. Now, with that inspiration comes a certain destruction of mental be uh, belief structures and whatnot, whatever. But it doesn't feel as catastrophic as, say, like a, a t an official tower moment would be, okay? All right. I'm going to give this last one last shuffle here. And then we're going to look a little deeper into this hanged man, eight of wands, nine of cups energy for you. Whatever this is for you here, it's quite satisfying. It feels quite satisfying. So let's look at this real quick. What is this hanged man, eight of wands? Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. The five of swords in reverse. 
that's beautiful you guys there's some sort of oh yes two of cups and i dare i say is that the lovers no it's death Ooh, 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 ooh. okay so you have the five of swords which came out first then you have okay the eight of swords that's interesting and then you have death and rebirth with the eight of pentacles and the two of wands All right, so there's, <laughs> yeah, there's still a little bit of apprehension here. I do feel like someone wants to reach out, someone wants to communicate, and yet, because of the fact that, um, and and with this, with the Four of Wands energy that came out in the beginning, I feel like we're, we're going back to this, because someone, either someone has released some sort of drama, some sort of turmoil, some sort of fighting and, and self-sabotaging energy or something like that, or you're aware that the fight between you and someone else is gone. Like you're not trying to fight anymore. You guys are on much better terms than you were before. So there has been a death and a rebirth here, or you're in the process of going through a death and rebirth. However, I just feel like it's already happened. Um, and there's greater reciprocity coming into the situation i feel like someone has made a choice a choice has been made as to whether or not they want to follow through with something or not whether or not they actually want like maybe this two of wands also kind of feels like a choice between two people or two lovers or two options when it comes to um romantic relationships or something like that two people are coming together here because you do have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck and that's something that i've been picking up on throughout this reading now the other thing about this is i do feel like somebody wants to reach out eight of wands there is some sort of desire or some sort of um inspiration to reach out to communicate to <laughs> i just heard to send a love letter um but but someone's overthinking that eight of swords Someone feels bound, someone feels trapped, someone feels like they can't really speak up. I kind of want to get a little bit of advice for that, but I think I want to use a different deck, and I don't think I want to use the Golden Universal Tarot for it. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do is I'll do that after. I'm going to look at advice for that specifically after, but right now let's move forward and let's get some... Let's get some clarity on this, okay? So we do have a situation in which I do feel like there, there are two people coming together, two of cups, or we could be talking about the the masculine and feminine energy between within you that's facilitating some sort of union in the external potentially because, again, we did have that four of wands come out in the pre-shuffle. All right, so I'm going to give this one shuffle. And then let's, let's look at the devil, the seven of wands. The Six of Wands and the Moon in Reverse. I heard some sort of illusion has come to light. Someone has chosen to break free from the Matrix. Oh my God. The Ten of Cups, you guys. With strength at the bottom of the deck. This is... This is gorgeous, guys. So whatever it is that you have done here whatever it is that you released that you've walked away from any sort of devilish energy some sort of toxicity narcissism um toxic environments and you're keeping you're you're keeping that at bay you have strong boundaries here it's bringing you the ten of cups You found a balance within. You found a, a time or a space where you can balance your ego, um, master yourself, have the strength to to stop the devil, to, to to remove yourself from this. Gosh, dare I get a little bit more? This is beautiful, you guys. All right. Well, I'm gonna get a little bit more then. What else is this? Can you give us a little bit more, please, spirit? Oh, jeez. Oh, well, there you go. There's the tower right there. 
Yikes. Okay, well, no, this is a good thing, guys. Don't, don't, don't feel bad. Yep. Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Page of Cups. I mean, this is beautiful. So, the Nine of Wands is talking about having a persevering, having been battered and bruised, but you know what? I'm not giving up. We're not giving up. We're still doing this. I'm still alive. I'm still here for a reason, so I'm going to keep going. This hasn't killed me yet. It might have been really difficult. It might have really been a struggle. It might have been really painful. It may have even, even been really humiliating, really embarrassing at certain times, but you know what? I'm still here. And I'm hearing for some of you, the connection still stands. So we're move let's let's keep going. Okay. We've learned our lesson here. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. And we're trying something new. This is a, we've, we've, we've harvested what we needed to harvest so far, and now it's time to plant new seeds and harvest something else. This is definitely an energy between the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. This is definitely an energy of, you know, having one harvest and recognizing what that harvest was and how difficult it was and what you don't, what you do and don't like about it. And now putting forth the effort to plant something new. And then we have the Four of Pentacles here. The Four of Pentacles is speaking to stability foundation okay so there is that what the four of wands was talking about in that spiritual or internal foundation here is that representation of the physical foundation whatever it is you've experienced here whatever it is you've been going through nine of wands seven of pentacles four of pentacles ultimately between the seven of pentacles and the four of pentacles it has allowed you to learn from the contrast and has allowed you to 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 set a much more stable foundation for yourself. And I'm even getting an energy of that foundation being well settled and well well molded, well well dry, whatever. It's 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 settled. You're ready to start building more. Page of and that's where the page of cups comes in. The dreamer energy. Emotional offers um, maybe even reconciliation, but this is also a dreamer energy. I would highly encourage you, if you are in this energy right now, if this is resonating for you, I highly encourage you to be in that dreamer energy as much as you possibly can. And look at what I just, look at what just caught my eye. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but look at right down here. There it is. See here, those two hands. Come on, focus, please. Focus a little bit more. Those two hands. Come on you focus why won't you focus but there are two hands right there that are making a heart and there's an energy building between the two of them all right so the focus in this case is love and coming together with another person some sort of union whatnot whatever um so okay so if this is a situation in which you two are not really speaking to each other you're still kind of in separation allow yourself to dream okay and dream good things. Don't let yourself get caught up in the in the what ifs, the nasty stuff. We don't want to talk about that. Okay. Um, but with this tower energy that's at the bottom of the deck here in the overall energy that is clarifying all this. Yeah, you do have a bit of a tower moment that happened. I feel like it's kind of in the past or maybe it's it's still kind of happening now. Maybe this tower moment is the fact that, you know, you're... You're finally ready to start building something new. So yeah, I do feel like this tower moment is a little bit of a past energy. It happened in the past. And now potentially this this whatever this structure or whatever whatever was needed to be cleared out of your way has been sufficiently cleared and now you can start to you can start rebuilding again. With this person in this circumstance whatever that means for you. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to, we're going to move into your Oracle guidance here. Um, and what I really want to do is I want to get some advice on this eight of swords energy here, because I really do feel like somebody wants to reach out. Somebody wants to communicate. Someone, somebody wants to connect but they're feeling trapped. They're feeling like they can't. This could potentially be the masculine here. There may be some sort of incentive on behalf of the masculine. Um, well, some sort of guidance that the masculine may be getting here to reach out to maybe a feminine counterpart. But he's feeling apprehensive. He wouldn't even know what to say. 
He doesn't, and and part of uh, part of the fear there could be like maybe communication in the past was not ideal, and because you're aware of this solid foundation between the two of you now, you're aware of the fact that things are better now than they were before. You don't want to jinx it. You don't want to fuck it up. You don't want to say the wrong thing to set the feminine off, and now all of a sudden you're back where you started. I honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. If you're in this energy right now, if you're in this situation with a, you see the sun is coming out, you guys, you see, you recognize that the sun is coming out at this moment. If you're in this type of situation right now with your feminine or a divine counterpart, I don't think you need to worry so much because I feel like this counterpart of yours has come full circle themselves and is much more willing to be patient and much more willing to be to work with you now than maybe they were before in the past. So I don't, especially if you're really, if you're really feeling spirit push you to say something, to reach out, to to make a connection, to just send a, like a just say hi or something like that. Have a, it doesn't even have to be a, a, a it doesn't have to be like some deep, lengthy like conversation. You could just reach out, say, "Hey, how you doing?" Or something like that. Just you know, start start light, start jovial. Um, but if you really are feeling spirit push you in that sense, then there's a reason for it, okay? And your 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 ego your ego is kind of getting a little bit in the way here. Um, all right, but let's see. I'm gonna give this two more shuffles, and then I want to get spirit's advice here on this Eight of Swords for you. Here we go. Let's see here. What do you have to say about this Eight of Swords, please, Spirit? <laughs> Nine of Cups. There you go, guys. I told you. There's a reason for... Ooh, see? You see? Okay. Look, you're being called... <laughs> Damn, yeah. You're being called to communicate here. Knight of Swords. Um... And I feel like I feel like it's coming out as the Knight of Swords because this is communication that's been desired for a long time. Whether it's from it's desired from the person that you're being guided to reach out to, or you, in fact, are the one that have wa has wanted to reach out or communicate for so long. Okay, you have the Nine of Cups, which is the first card that popped out, that fell out face up. Okay, that showed itself when it came out. Then you have the Three of Pentacles and Judgment. Spirit is saying. We're calling you guys to con start communicating with each other so that you can start working together. This is about a team effort. This is about teamwork here. Okay. Also, what Spirit is saying with this, the, with Judgment and the Three of Pentacles, Spirit is saying that you're being called to take this step or make this move because of the level of self-mastery that you have come to. Because of the reshaping, resculpting, because of the work that you've done in within yourself you're ready to start communicating in this way there's going to be a happy outcome from it nine of cups again satisfaction okay and the nine of cups where was the nine of cups oh it's right here the nine of cups has come out twice you're being called to communicate and there's satisfaction that's going to come from it you have two more cards here oh well would you look at that well, would you look at that? Temperance and the Chariot. However, Temperance is in reverse. So what I'm getting with Temperance being in reverse is that alchemy is complete. It's ready. You're ready to start moving. Like, there's no need. There's really, I mean, yeah, sure, patience is still necessary here. But your alchemization process is complete. You're ready to get going. The Chariot has come out twice here, guys. So has the Nine of Cups. You're ready to start moving. So follow the guidance. Heed the call. Masculine, if you're being called to reach out to your feminine just to say hi or just to get a conversation started, just to get the ball rolling, by all means, go ahead. I mean, we, I could sit here and say, no, all right, cool. I was going to say maybe that's the feminine, but no. As, as I was just starting to say, that spirit said to me, no, it's the masculine's turn to start reaching out now. He's got to do this on his own. And that makes sense because the feminine has the guidance for the feminine lately has been to stay in your receptive mode. And I kept hearing personally, I kept hearing, let him come to you. You don't have to push anything. You don't have to try for anything. You don't have to provoke him. You don't have to do anything. Just let him come to you. And that's been the message for the feminine for a minute now. Okay. I do want to say 
as someone that's very strongly rooted in feminine energy, looking over what's going on here and kind of feeling like this is this is definitely if it resonates for you and on certain levels, this is a message for the divine masculine or a masculine counterpart or whatnot. I have to say that I'm feeling super proud of you guys because you really come a long way, especially in this energy here with the devil with his back turned, the seven of wands and the six of wands. I mean, this takes this is this takes a lot of strength to put the devil in its place like this. And I feel like many of you have been struggling with this for quite some time, but for some reason, well, not for some reason, the feminine has been helping you with this, but in her own way, just in standing in her power and which and, and her strength, which is kind of fortifying you in many cases. And then as you do that in your own way, you then fortify her. But I just, I just felt, I wanted to say that I felt this strong, over, almost overwhelming sense of pride for you masculines because you really come a long way and this is very good energy and for those of you that are in the, in the in the midst of balancing your masculine and feminine energy and are you know this is resonating for you in the sense that it's speaking to your internal masculine very proud of you as well balancing your masculine and feminine energies in this current climate of, of our world is <laughs> not easy <laughs> so this is really good you guys this is very 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 good Where do we want to get our oracle guidance from today? Lightworker. Okay. We're going to do that. We going to do that. So, oracle guidance coming from the lightworker oracle here. Oops. Okay. Here we go, kids. Let's get your oracle guidance for today. Last one. Here we go. Okay, card number seven, unplug from mass consciousness. Ooh. But see, that's kind of what was coming through with the moon in reverse here, right? Unplugging from the matrix, unplugging from mass consciousness. Okay. Card number seven, unplug from mass consciousness. There is a belief system based on fear, doubt, and distrust that is known as, quote, mass consciousness. It says it is safer to stay with the crowd, not to question what you have been taught. It says you cannot trust the divine to take care of your financial well-being or your emotional needs. It says you should be afraid and not take risks. It says that if you dare to stand up and live your truth, you'll be lost and alone. You see, the sun is coming back out again and it's coming out in full force right now, you guys. Like, this is blinding. <laughs> Oh man, I'm going to say this again. It says that if you dare to stand up and live your truth, you'll be lost and alone, humiliated, rejected, or even destroyed. You are being guided to unplug from that system of beliefs. You are capable of a more creative, loving, and soul-satisfying way of living. To access this, let go of the way that is too small for your soul. I really want to, I really want to, I really want to read more of this, so I'm going to. You are brave and aware enough to think outside the square beyond what society or your peers may consider, quote, normal. You are supposed to be questioning things right now. You are in a transition from one way of thinking to another, opening up to a new world which you can trust enough to live in with peace and happiness because of the upgraded new beliefs you are cultivating. That's that tower moment, okay? No matter how others may resist or criticize your choices, perhaps your new ideas take you away from the world they feel comfortable in, your higher guidance encourages you to keep opening your mind to a more loving, higher reality. If you have been thinking along new lines and wonder if you are going crazy, your guidance tells you you are doing a great job. You are not crazy. Trust yourself. 
You are thinking in ways that do not belong to mass consciousness. It can seem scary at first, but once you realize the benefits gained from unplugging, you will enjoy the process much more. It will free you and empower you to live a life of your own choosing. Opportunities and connections can open you up, up sorry, can open up to you in ways that defy your old beliefs. Sometimes breaking from the accepted norm, doing things differently, or being considered weird to family, colleagues, and friends is a sign that you are breaking away from the consciousness of the masses, which is not compatible with your own higher frequency consciousness. You were born to bring a new vibration of awareness to this planet. You will find those who can benefit and even love you for this difference, and those who are challenged or fearful of you for it. Either way, you can love and approve of yourself, nourish relationships that support you, and have compassionate detachment from those who do not, without compromising who you are in truth. So keep unplugging yourself, one layer, thought, word, and deed at a time, from that which the mass consciousness would have you buy into, more stuff, more fear, more competition, more doubt, and more suffering. You can challenge any thought you don't want to have. Free yourself. You have the power to change. I'm sorry, you, yes, you have the power to change your world and the world we live in as a result, one liberating thought at a time. Beautiful. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Oh, I meant to mention this earlier in the reading, but for those of you that are still here with me, I am planning on doing happy hour this week. I will, I'm planning on doing that this Wednesday. Um, that might change, but keep your ears open if you're looking for happy hour. The floor is not open yet. I will let you know when the floor is officially open. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.